Ladies and gentlemen, the new Mr. and Mrs. Steven Lee. And we're back on track. Going to get a haircut right now. So meet at the office 3:30. Okay. And I get and I'll get everything else before that. This weekend we have a triple. Three weddings: Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And going over the details with my right hand man, Jace. Let's go. We had a pretty crazy winter and I'm pretty excited about the beautiful spring that is upon us. Running to a few other places and then going to the wedding, Garden City. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Just a second. So just got a haircut and I scheduled a phone call with a client in a pretty close window, but they just called, and it's time to do a call. I'm all ready to go. Wonderful. Here he is. Good afternoon, Andrew. How's it going? Hey, good. How are you? Showtime is real is a day away, and I'm I'm super pumped. The percussionist, yeah, <laughs> saxophone player, we're all ready to go, man. Ah, right, perfect. Yeah, so we'll do a, some of the oldies a bit, uh, but we won't stay there too long. We'll just satisfy the the older folk to like say, "Wow, like wow, Andrew, right. Andrew's more of a hip hop guy." But <laughs> well, I'm surprised his DJ went there with some oldies, and right. and definitely Biggie for you at some point. <laughs> yeah, what what are two Biggie songs? Sounds good. Huh? Have a blast, and right. as far as music and formalities and the flow of the event, let us take care of it and just have a good time tomorrow. Perfect. All right, pal. Have a great day. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. You too. I'm excited. Usually we chat a little bit sooner, but with scheduling between him and I, it was fine for us to chat today. He was free. And off to Alyssa and Stephen's wedding in Garden City, New York. Out in Long Island at the Garden City Hotel for our first wedding of the weekend. As an event host, there's something really exhilarating about doing introductions at weddings. There's so many details and specifics in such a short time frame that it really gets my adrenaline pumping. From the welcome to the grand introductions, name pronunciations, song changes, getting the guests fired up, so many layers to what we do, and it's that pressure that excites me. At this wedding, we set up TVs, produced a photo montage for the bride and groom. We displayed photos of the couple over the years, and it really creates a memorable environment going through the years amongst their guests. Dancing, dancing, and more dancing is what we like to serve the guests each and every time. At Liberty House, the couple were big electronic music fans. We brought the incredible musical buildups and melodies to the dance floor, and the client was so impressed. That's what they wanted to hear, and even the kids were dancing. With Andrew and Kristen's guests, we started off by throwing it back for the older family members and friends. The classics. Some rock and roll, classic pop, classic rock, disco. We wanted everyone on the dance floor in the beginning. And playing classics that everyone knows is a good way of doing that. 
Later on, we blessed the bride and groom with some of their favorite modern records, including hip hop, and the energy was complemented by our live saxophone player and percussionist. High energy all night. Our mindset with how we end weddings is keeping people wanting more. Seeing guests having the time of their lives is why I do this. I love hearing one more song, <laughs> one more song. It lets us know that we were doing something right. We even had confetti launchers at the climax of the night. We had a blast. We made friends. We love playing every single week for all kinds of crowds. Remember to smile. Remember to dance. Remember, preparation is key. Shout out to the best man for this one. 